Hey there, first grade. How's everybody doing today? And welcome back to another remote learning math lesson with Mr. Enzi. Today, we are going to take a look at some numbers and we are going to compare those numbers. So let's get started as I shrink myself into the corner. Today, we are doing grade one, lesson 1.5 comparing numbers. The word compare means to describe how things are alike or different. So I thought I would show a picture of my Lego Mickey and Lego Minnie because we can compare them. So when we compare, we look for things that are the same and things that are different. So what are some things that you can see that are the same with Mickey and Minnie? The first thing I noticed is that they both have yellow shoes. That is a way to compare them. They both have the same yellow shoes. They also both have the black on the upper body. So their torso is black and the arms are all black and their legs are black. So I can compare them. What color is their faces? Their faces are white. So we can compare them by looking for things that are the same. I see one other big thing that's the same, and it's attached to their heads. They both have two ears. Now, I can also compare objects by telling how they are different, how they are not alike. Can you see anything that makes them different? So one thing that I see is that Minnie has a hat and a flower coming out of her hat. Mickey doesn't have a hat at all. That makes them different. So I can compare objects that way. I see something else different, something that they're carrying. Mickey is carrying a guitar. Minnie is carrying flowers. I wonder if Mickey gave Minnie the flowers. So we can compare objects by describing how they are alike or different. Well, the same thing is true about numbers. Now, we have learned that we have a number line, and a number line has arrows on the ends, there's numbers, and then there are tick marks, and every tick mark is named a different number. So I can compare numbers also. Let's see. Maybe I want to take a look at the number 2 and the number 5. Now I can ask which number is bigger, the two or the five? Well, the number five is bigger because if I start at zero, that's my smallest number. One, two, three, four, five. I'm getting bigger. So when I travel down my number line, the bigger the numbers they get, that they get. So the number five is bigger than two. Let's try another. Which numbers is bigger? Four or six? Which number do you think is the bigger number? Four or six? Well, hopefully you said the number four is the bigger number. When I count, I'm counting, and every time I say the next number, it's a bigger number. 
So six is bigger than the four. Awesome job. Let's try another. Which number is bigger? The, mm, the five or the eight? Which number is bigger? Hopefully you said the eight is bigger. It's the last number I get to when I count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the bigger number is the number I get to second. Awesome job. But I can also compare numbers a different way. I can ask which number is smaller. Is the number 12 or the number 10 smaller? Now, smaller means it's going to be closer to zero. It's the first number I would say if I'm counting. Let's check. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The smaller number is ten. That means the bigger number would be twelve. Let's try one more. Which number is smaller? Is it the 15 or the 14? Which one's the smaller number? The smaller number is closer to zero. So the first number I get to when I count would be 14. So 14 is the smaller number. That means 15 is the bigger number. Awesome job. Let's see. Here I have a number line and it doesn't have numbers. I can put my numbers in order. I can take all of my number cards and start to drag them and make a row or make an imaginary number line. I wonder which number comes first. Well, the number that comes first is the number zero. So zero would be my first number. The next number would be one. After one comes two. And then we have three. Four, I hear some of you counting with Mr. Enzi. Awesome job. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we get ten. So it's like an imaginary number line. Look, I can get rid of my number line. I can put it back too. Maybe. <laughs> there it is. So I can take number cards and put them in order. Now, I still have some numbers, but Mr. Enzi ran out of room. So I'm going to start another row. 11. 12, 13, 14, and the last number that I have is 15. So I took my numbers and I compared them and put them in order. Let me show you a game. This game is called Top It. Top it is played with some cards. I like to use a number line to help me play top it. The number line helps me to see which numbers are bigger and which numbers are smaller. Now, with top it, there's two players. Mr. Renzi versus you. 
and we each get to pick a card. So Mr. Enzi's going to take this card, 13, and you get this card, 5. Now, in Top It, the bigger number wins. So which number is the bigger number? Now, I can use my number, my number line to help me. 13 is here, and 5 is here. So which number is the bigger number? Well, the bigger number is 13. So guess what? Mr. Renzi gets both of the cards. So I get 13 and I get 5. So far, I have two points. Let's play another round. This time, Mr. Renzi has 4. And you have 14. Oh, which number's the bigger number? Four appears here on my number line, and 14 is all the way down here. 14 is my bigger number. So that means the winner of Top It is the number 14. So you would win that time. So now it's two to two. Today, you are going to have a seesaw activity. You're going to be taking some number cards and you're going to try to put them in order. You're going to make the imaginary number line. And then you're going to get a chance to head into Connect Ed and play Top It. I can't wait to see how you do. Have a great day. We'll see everybody real soon.